No, it's okay, Rev. You, you take all the time you need back there. Stealing the show. What are you looking at? Today I'm going to be talking about the creative process in dealing with getting in a rut, getting burned out, getting depressed, dealing with anxiety. I planned on making a video or two about this topic and I was not expecting to start it off like I'm about to. Please stick with me to the end. Let me take you back about 14 years. I get this email one day and it's from a dude named David Hobby. And David Hobby writes to me and he's like, hi, my name's David. I just started this blog called Strobist. So somewhere about 12-ish years ago, I'm in my studio here in Atlanta and I open up a web browser and I'm having my morning coffee and I'm going through some websites and blogs and up pops Strobist and he says, hey everyone, I'm in Dubai. Dubai was like at the top of my list of where I wanted to go. But like this guy didn't even have a passport at that point in his life. So David's blog post goes on to say that he's at this event called Gulf Photo Plus and he's there with like Joe McNally and like all these other like really amazing photographers and he's there teaching workshops for a week and I'm just staring at my screen and f this, f David Hobby, f Dubai, f these workshops, man, f Joe McNally, like what? Why does he get to do that? Why, why, like, David Hobby's blog is blowing up. I'm never gonna get out of Atlanta. All this stuff that I've been working on, it, it's never going to take off. It's never, it's never gonna take me to places like Dubai. I'm never gonna get anywhere. So there I am in Atlanta, just feeling sorry for myself. And about, I don't know, two or three months later, I get an email. Hi Zach, my name is Mohammed Samji, and I run an event every year in Dubai called Gulf Photo Plus. One evening, I was talking with David Hobby. Anyways, I was asking David if he knew any other instructors that could come and teach lighting at this event. And your name was the first name out of his mouth. I, I, I usually start crying when I tell this story. Check this out. You get the point. I got to go to Go Photo Plus consecutively for 10 years. In fact, in fact, my oldest son, Caleb, at the ripe young age of 18, moved to Dubai to work with Gulf Photo Plus, and he has now been living in Dubai for the past three years. My, my kid, my 18-year-old, who's now 21, lives in Dubai full-time. So last week, I absolutely surprised myself and I got four videos out. That's like four times more videos I've put out in a week than I've put out in about four years. Like I was so proud of myself. I got up this morning, I was having my coffee and I'm like, all right. And I was feeling good. I was feeling accomplished. People are interacting with the content. People are leaving comments. I'm sitting here this morning as I'm making this video, this morning. And I'm scrolling through some websites and I head over to Petapixel and I'm kind of scrolling through some of the recent articles. And this video pops up about photography hacks. One little portrait hack, one little trick that I like to do to make my photos just look a little bit better. And this, this video is by a guy named Peter McKinnon. I'm like, oh, Peter McKinnon, Peter McKinnon. I've, 
I think I've heard that name before. I've heard his name before. I think I maybe have seen some of his videos. So I go look him up on YouTube. 4.4 million subscribers? Damn. Like what? And I start going through some of his videos. I thought it'd be cool to bring Cody back on the channel to talk about how his journey through YouTube has been basically over the past year and a half. Talk about lighting. Lighting is huge. B, just looks like it. C, there's no reason it has to look bad. When you're in the creative industries and you deal with burnout or feeling like you're stuck in a rut or um, you're dealing with depression, anxiety, it feels like you're, you're walking on a knife blade right there at the edge. I started watching Peter's videos this morning and looking at his view count and subscriber numbers and I just jumped off of this knife edge. On that side of the knife edge, who the f is this Peter guy? Man, f him, f his really well organized studio, f all his gear, f his rugged good looks, f that place that he went to, f those pictures he shoots, f all his shit, f this Peter guy. F him. There I went. There I went. I was mad. I was angry. And then I just started getting cynical and getting bitter. So I climbed myself back up onto that knife edge. And then I just threw myself off the other side of it. And what does that side of it look like? That side of it looks like I'm, I'm never going to get there. My work is my videos are stupid. Here I am with my dumb ring light and $30 mic and I really should be using a better camera. I, what am I doing with my phone? Like this is ridiculous. I really need to like up my game. Like I'm never going to make it. I am going to be stuck where I am right now forever. I should, I just need to just stop even trying. I'm, I'm never, going to get there. Screw this. This is Peter McKinnon showing his work online. And this is me showing my work online. Yep, that's, that's what it feels like. <sighs> breathe, Zach, breathe. When you start getting into comparing yourself to others, it can there's the bathtub we got two folks staying at home today because they're sick my corona <laughs> comparing yourself to others can be a disease that just eats you alive all right gut check right now gut check you're looking at my passport with all these stamps in it how many of you right now are like man zach Arias? Him, his passport, his medium format, all his everything. How many of you are like playing that in your head right now? I, I would be. I honestly kind of say that to myself enough as it is. Man, screw me. Like, oh, I get it. I get it. I mean, I do. This morning, I'm looking at somebody's YouTube channel and I'm like... I have learned that there are times in my life, and it seems to be kind of cyclical, that I am jumping off this knife edge one way or another, or at both times, or it's just splitting me in half, and half of me is bitter and cynical, and half of me is just, you know, tearing myself up. When I, when I jumped off this side of the knife blade today, what, what did I do with all of the kind, wonderful things you guys have said to me in the comments in the last week? What did I do with all that? I took a lighter to it and I burned it all up. All of my happiness about getting off my ass and making some new content, like I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Like I'm getting off my ass and I'm making something and I can see some traction and, and I just, you know, psh, took a lighter to it 
all up in flames. I burned it all. There goes all my happiness, all my joy, just because I was comparing myself to someone else, to someone I don't even know. I'm like, good for Peter McKinnon. Good for him. 4.4 million subscribers. Like, I don't know him. I, I don't know who he is or his backstory, but you don't get the 4.4 million subscribers by sitting around and staring into your navel feeling bad for yourself. Like you get up and you work at it and you work hard. I've had personal one-on-one -on -one conversations with some very successful online personalities and they've told me how hard it is when they get burned out but they have to continue producing content and continue grinding it out. And there are days they just wanna give up, but they get in front of their camera, they turn it on, and they make something and they put it out there in the world and they do it again and they do it again and they do it again. And I need to learn that in my own life. Just get up and do it. So once I, you know, got myself back up on this edge this morning and walked on down it to the handle to where it's a little more stable and I'm not about to fall off either way. I said, you know what I need to do? I need to go get my ring light out of the closet. I need to plug in my $30 lav, or lav, as I've been corrected. And I need to make a video about all of this. And the reason I need to make a video about this is because seriously, y'all, I love you so much. I can go live under a rock for years at a time and then pop my head up and you all just welcome me like I never left. I so much appreciate your kind words. I so much appreciate the comments. I really appreciate the feedback that you're giving me right now as I'm like making new stuff. I sincerely, sincerely appreciate you so much. Thank you. I don't want to let my emotions take your love and kindness and torch it into oblivion. I don't want to do that. I need to get up. I need to not feel sorry for myself. I need to not compare myself to others. I really need to look at like people with 4.4 million subscribers and be like, that's awesome. That means it can be done. That means someone got up there and got out there and started making stuff and people liked it and, and they've made a life for themselves doing it. Like that shows it can be done. If they can do it, I can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And I know that you may look at my passport and be like, F you Zach, I get it. I get it. If I, this moron right here, can get anything done in life, you can get it done in life too. If it is inside of you somewhere to do, then go out trying. Give it a go, give it a go. When one of y'all say, Zach, you really helped me with this, or wow, this was just what I needed to hear right now, I want you to know the reason I'm saying it to you is because I'm also needing to say it to myself. So thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with me. Thank you for your comments and your feedback. If you have any questions, you wanna talk any more about any of this, let me know in the comments below. And I am also going to be making a few other videos talking specifically about the subject of burnout, being in a rut, dealing with depression, anxiety, and all of that. I'm not a doctor, but I can share with you my own story. So thanks again. We'll see you later. Alfie, can you go settle? Can you go take a nap? You sleep half the day anyways. Can you, can you do part of that now?